Hey, what's up, guys? It's Impulse back at it again with a new video, and uh, I hope y'all drinking some water because it's been toasty in this bitch recently. So we're gonna be talking about turbos today. Yes, 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 yes. But before we get into which turbo is better, the twin scroll or the single scroll turbo, we gotta really talk about how a turbo actually works, you know what I mean? Are you serious right now, bruh? So a turbo is basically just an air pump that uses the exhaust gases, that is atmospheric pressure. Then it compresses that gas and just squeezes it, which therefore, it'll, because it's compressed, it lets more air into the combustion chamber. And because there's more air into the combustion chamber, that means you get more boom. Did somebody say boom? <laughs> So now that you know basics of a turbo and how it operates, I'm gonna talk about the single scroll turbo. And this one, the exhaust gases from all four cylinders are collected and directed through a single passage. And this passage feeds the gases into a wheel turbine. However, since the gases enter a collector in a separate pulsation, they can just bop, 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 collide with each other. And um, it causes interference because they'd be bumping into each other, you know what I mean? And with this interference, it reduces the uh, efficiency of a turbocharger and it results in what is known as turbo lag. Yeah. A single scroll turbocharger offers the advantages in terms of ease and cost effectiveness. So it's cheaper to get these and it's easier to install these. Yeah. And since it's only got one scroll in it, it's also way smaller. And additionally, it provides better performance in the higher RPMs. However, it may have not as good performance in the lower RPMs. <laughs> Now, onto the twin scroll turbocharger. This thing, uh, the housing is designed to have two separate scrolls instead of just one. So this means the exhaust pulses from the manifold are already split into two different chambers. Okay. And before entering the scrolls, so therefore you won't have as much turbo lag because they're not bumping into each other. You're just going straight, shoot, 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 shoot. You know what I mean? Yep. So this results into a better spool and the turbo works better at the lower RPMs. Yeah. So a twin scroll turbocharger is more efficient and experiences less turbo lag, delivering both improved performance in the low RPM and just being more efficient with its fuel. Hey, that's pretty good. However, the twin scroll design is a bit more complex in terms of manufacturing and installing it, and it's just overall just more expensive. Taking all these factors into consideration, the general rule of thumb is that if you intend to use the vehicle for high boost and street, like actual street races, like on the like the drag strip, not just daily driving it, you want to use a single scroll turbo because it's more efficient in the higher RPMs and you'll make more boost. However, if you plan on daily driving the vehicle and just a little bit more efficient on the lower RPMs, you're definitely going to want to use the twin scroll turbo and it just provides a better daily driver experience. The twin or the single scroll turbo, which one would you guys use in your boat personally? I want to build a WX to be a street car, so we're definitely going to keep a twin scroll turbo on it. Anyways, it's been your boy Impulse, and I hope to see you guys on the next one. Peace.